best friend. So y'all know, y'all seen these two wigs on my Instagram. This, both of these wigs are from a company called Kalai. I have worked with these companies before. And I'm going to show you how basically I achieved both of these colors. One is for Christmas and one is for Thanksgiving. But we're going to focus on the burgundy one today. And if you want to see how I got the other color, then you know you need to watch the other video. I have a link at the end of it. So if you are interested to see how I achieved this color, then keep on watching. Okay, so like I said, I this hair is from Kalai. They did send me two wigs, so I'm going to do a video for each. So this is their 24-inch uh, uh, silk base closure wig, okay? The closure is a 4x4. Four four. It's not your typical closure. We have talked about this uh, on our, my channel before. So this wig came pink looking. I would call this color fuchsia, okay? This is a fuchsia looking color wig. You do not have to change the color if you do not want to. This is a nice color that it is, but it wasn't the color that I wanted. So this, it has three clones. This is the lace with the silk base and um, yeah, and you get about like a half an inch of parting space in the front for your lace so you can glue it down and you have only a middle part. So I am going to use magenta and burgundy bliss to do this watercolor. So I'm gonna have add a half a bottle of magenta and then I'm gonna add a half a bottle of burgundy bliss and then um, you will see me do a quarter of the a bottle of jet black and the jet black is only to deepen the color because you will see because you will see that um once i did dye the hair into the magenta and burgundy bliss it's still going to be like a bright color but that jet black tones it down a little bit so the jet black is going to give you the depth in the hair so like if you wanted like a black cherry color you would add black to whatever color that you want to in order to achieve that color you get me so um, you want to make sure you stir the color up really good because you don't want any patches. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip, dip it in and out until it like fully submerges into the water. And so I just let it sit in there. I was nervous about um, the silk base and the lace staining because this is a dark color and usually um, the lace would stain. But I, I really didn't have any stainage problems. Now the silk base did have a little tint to it but... Other than that, it was, it was whatever. Like, I, I corrected it with makeup. You really couldn't tell. So, I let that sit in the water for about four minutes until all the color absorbed into the wig. And you will tell when the color goes all the way into the wig because the water gets um, kind of like see-through-ish. All right? So, after I let it sit, I did pull the wig out and I drained it from the water. And then I added that quarter of black. So as you can see, um, you can tell that the wig is still going to be a tad bit bright. Uh, when your hair is wet, it do look a bit darker, so you always want to remember that. You can stop at this point if you don't want it uh, to deepen the color. But I want to deepen the color, so I'm going to do the quarter of black. And so I'm going to add the black into the water, and then I'm going to set the wig back in there until it all absorbs the color. Now make sure you stir all of the black into the water because you do not. And I mean, you do not want black spots in your wig, okay? all right so after i let it sit in the water i did go in and wash and shampoo and condition the hair and this is the color after i water colored it and it is perfect this is a perfect pink burgundy there's different types of burgundies different undertones since this was already a pink wig it was going to give you that undertone of pink so i kept it i rolled with it and i um just deepened the color 
So um, you could do a red burgundy, you could do a purple burgundy, but this right here is a pink burgundy, and I like pink burgundies. <laughs> so I'm going to take my dryer cap, and I'm going to dry it just to, you know, pr hurry up the process. So I did flat iron this hair off camera, and I did go ahead and put an elastic band on there just because I sometimes like my wigs to be glueless, and because this is a closure wig, um, I do want that extra security, so I did go ahead and uh, apply an elastic band. So I'm going to adjust the wig on me, and we are going to glue this down with a bow hole liquid gold. I do want to mention that my water for water coloring was just hot water from the tap. I did not boil the water. I didn't do any of that. Um, you definitely want to be careful when it comes to boiling your hair, especially if you already have color treated hair because you can easily over process your color treated hair. I see a lot of people boiling their 613 hair. Girl, like you want to definitely be careful when it comes to anything 613 because that heat will definitely over process your hair if it's too hot. And you're and, and a lot of people will argue with me down about this until their temperature or their water is too hot and then it'll over process their hair and then and then when it comes to like you washing your hair and stuff like that your hair gonna feel like mush like you basically over processed it like with bleach you can easily do that with water so when it comes to 613 you want to be careful black hair is kind of different that has never been processed but when it comes to 613 or any type of color treated hair i would not suggest you boil your hair <laughs> like i do not suggest you do that with any type of color treated hair unless you know what temperature to have it at i don't know what correct temperature to have it at i don't even try that um, but yeah, you do definitely do not want to over process your hair. I've definitely done that before and I was pissed. So, um, it happens. So basically I'm going to cut off the lace to this wig and I am going to use my boho liquid gold to adhere this wig down. My only gripe, and I'm going to say this all the time, is that these wigs are cool, but I don't like the hairline. Like, they don't give you enough space to to do any kind of customization, and I don't like that straight hairline look. Like, it's, it bothers me. I need, I need some zigzagginess going on. Like, at least if you're going to, like, forget the silk base. If you're going to keep the, this lace how it is, it's cool. Like, I don't mind it, but give me more areas to pluck in. That's all I want. But other than that, the hair took, you know, water coloring really good. Um, yeah, and so I just decided, like, okay, well, since the, the front of the hairline really didn't look bad, but, like, I'm a stickler for, like, something type of customization so I did go ahead and put some makeup in my part just to you know make it pop and then I did go in and do like a little swoop in the front of the hairline and that was basically it all right you guys so this is the final look for this wig this is my uh, uh, fuchsia burgundy hair color it has a pink undertone which I was going for and I love this wig was easy to watercolor because uh, as you already saw the color was the wig was already pink I thought I was getting a burgundy wig, but it was already pink, so I just adjusted the color slightly, and I got this. You guys know how I feel about these type of, of closure wigs, so to try something different, I did the little swoop in the front. Um, it actually makes it look a little better. So the other wig that I have from this brand that I already probably posted a video up on if I haven't, or if you haven't seen it, because I probably showed it a clip of the two wigs together in this video. Um, I'm probably going to do the same thing for the, the front of that because it just looks better. It just blends better. It doesn't look like a harsh line in the front. So, um, typically this is not my kind of look. But, you know, you got to roll with the punches and you got to wear what you got to wear. So, um, it, it, the color actually came out really bomb. So, you can do this on 613 hair. You can bleach your hair and then you use the two colors that I use with some black. And you can get this deep fuchsia burgundy color which is perfect for christmas okay so i'm i'm really gonna say like the uh the burnt orange brown wig is definitely a look for thanksgiving like that's a, a good thanksgiving color this is a good christmas color you feel me this also will look bomb in a, a frontal as well so oh and i do want to say that 
um, for both wigs, the lace did not stain, which is really good. I did not have to put like makeup to blend in the front of my hairline, which you barely can see that anyway because it's a blunt straight line. But um, I will say that the lace fits my skin tone perfectly. It was the middle part was just a little bit dark, but it's just kind of dense in here, so. Um, Either you plug it, which I do not suggest, or you put makeup in it, and that's what I did, just to help it blend and it pop a little bit more. Other than that, the, the material underneath and the lace did not stain from watercoloring, because I did watercolor this wig. But that's about it, you guys. This hair is super soft, and this wig is super thick. This is 24 inches. I will leave all the specs to this wig down below in the description box. Everything that I use in this video will be down below in the descri description box, from the spritz to the flat iron to the hair to everything. You feel me? If you got any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I will be down there to answer them. Okay, and what else? Oh, don't forget to follow me on social media. If you are looking for my used wigs, I do sell them on Facebook, so make sure that you are following me there. Um, my Instagram goes up. I'm gonna post a little screenshot of my Instagram right there. Make sure you follow me there, you know, so you can see the cute pictures or whatnot. And Snapchat be cool. That's where I get a little personal, personal. You see me like looking like Cleo around the house and stuff like that, so. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, again, you guys been amazing subscribers. <laughs> Bye, you guys.